Hi there. I've been asked by a few folk to do some videos on how to do woodwork joints, but I feel I need to set the scene first. So this short video will introduce the woodwork joints and the setting up before actually getting into the joints themselves. Let's start off with the tools that I'm going to require to set up the wood for my first joint. A tri-square, a rule, a marking gauge, of course a pencil, a plane and the wood itself. The wood itself this time is a canary white wood. In schools when given a piece of wood first thing we're asked to do is to select face side face edge. In the real life if I were to make a practice woodwork joint I wouldn't be looking for a face side face edge I'd be looking for a datum line. So before we choose we'll look at the face side, the edges and choose one but before I mark it and call it that I'm going to give it a quick rub with a plane. Having chosen what I consider to be the better edge three rubs with a plane. Not enough to set it off the square but enough to clean it up. From that edge I'm going to look at the faces and choose which one to use as a datum and then I'm going to put the marks on so it's a loop and a V, the V pointing towards the face side, the loop tailing towards the face edge. Meaning that this edge now becomes my datum edge. Having marked the face side and face edge using the marking gauge, marking gauge has one pin, not two like a mortise gauge. I'll introduce you to the mortise gauge later. I'm going to gauge this wood to 50 millimeters and plane it down to size. To do that, setting the marking gauge, make sure you're setting the size to the point of the marking gauge, not to the base of the needle, to the point. Now, just a slidge, shade short, so that's it. Double check it, and it's there marked or set at 50 millimeters. To put it on the wood it's got to go face side. I turn the point towards me thumb and finger around the marking gauge so that I can push in as I drag it down. Now I need something to push against so a bench stop would be nice wouldn't it? And pushing that in as I take it down holding it tight in against the face side face edge and down we go. My old age means I need to put a pencil mark on it. On one side is fine but I actually need it on both so to turn the wood over it's important that the wood gets turned over that way and that again I'm going in against that mark there face side. Same thing again, in, gauge, lift it up just a wee bit so the gauge can go past there and for my old sight run the pencil down it and it shows me where I'm working to. Using a smoothing plane and admittedly this one's broad, it's a four and a half, I can work that down. Now for anyone who hasn't planed wood before and planed wood down to a size I'm taking it down evenly and checking as I go. Now I'm close there and you see me rubbing the edge. I'm going to cut the length of the stroke short to even it up. I'm getting there. Still rubbing that edge. I'm 
getting there you can see the edge starting to lift that's done that side needs the shade more there it's starting to lift and I need it to do that all the way along which is now doing what's happened is I've taken the wood down to the groove that was made by the marking gauge now remember the point of the marking gauge made the groove inwards so I've still got less than a millimetre to go so one two three and I stop there to set my wood up to do my practice joints I've selected a face side face edge I've marked them giving me a datum line now if I were doing this on something I was going to make last thing I want is a big pencil mark on the face side I'd actually mark it the other way around but that datum edge is important I'm going to use that using that datum edge I gauged the width of the wood both sides working from face edge then planed it down till the edge started to become hairy and at that point three rubs my wood is now set for me to start my joint and that's what's in the next program <laughs>